Hi there, thanks for joining me. The antenna I'm going to talk to you about in the next few minutes is an antenna I'm going to be using in the next couple of days. I'm going to be using portable. Now, you know on this channel, I love portable operating. And uh, there's some key things about this antenna I'd like to share with you. In particular, the fact I want to use it across all bands if I can, uh, providing the bands are open, um, from 40 metres up to 10 metres. Now, um, let's have a look at the schematic of the antenna itself. Well, the antenna is 8.8 .8 metres long. That's 29 feet. Now, uh, 29 feet is a non-resonant length. Uh, effectively, we're trying to make it a, a random, so-called random wire antenna. And it'll be fed at the base by a MAT-40 tuner, a long wire remote tuner. Now, the reason why we're trying to make it non-resonant is we're trying to give the tuner a chance to match it across a wide range of frequencies. If we, for example, try to get it to match a 33 foot or 10 meter wire on 20 meters on the, as an end fed, then uh, it won't cope because it won't be able to match it because the, the literally the, uh, the, the um, impedance right at the feed point is uh, going to be maybe two and a half to three and a half thousand ohms. So that tuner won't be able to, to deal with that. So you're trying to make it a length which is kind of non-resonant. And 29 feet is a good length, 8.8 .8 meters, because it's pretty efficient on 10 meters. It's only a fraction really below a quarter wave, uh, but is uh, long enough and is the right length to give us some good performance also on the bands above 40 meters and avoids any, any high impedance areas which are a half wave or a full wavelength long. So going back to the diagram then, 8.8 .8 meters long, that's uh, 29 feet. And uh, the idea, therefore, then, is to have the antenna as a, uh, as a sloper. And uh, the reason why we're going to have it as a sloper is because we're trying to run it away from the car. Because that pole, at a 10-meter pole, a fiberglass pole, you can see the, uh, the long black uh, uh, sort of line in the middle there. Uh, effectively, that will be uh, mounted onto a drive-on plate. So uh, that will be right next to the, sort of the front uh, part of the car, the front wing of the car. So the wire will be run away from that at the, height, the top height of eight and a half metres above ground level. You can see there it goes to a tuner. The tuner will be about four metres, that's about 13 feet away from the car. And then we'll have about 40 metres worth of ground radials running away from the lug of the, uh, of the, the ground lug of the tuner itself. So that, that's the schematic of the antenna there. Now what I've got and done is modelled it a little bit as well using MMANA across different bands. Let's have a look first of all at 40 metres then. Now remember on 40 metres the antenna is a fraction under a quarter wavelength long and uh, you can see on the left hand side you've got the, the azimuth pattern which shows the, the coverage around the antenna and uh, you can see that black uh, bleak black line, that sloping black line and uh, that kind of mirrors a little bit the, the shape of the antenna. The reason why I wanted to do that is because you can see that in the direction of the uh, of the slope going downwards, there's a slight uh, increasing gain on that direction of about 5.5 dBi compared to 6.8 dBi in the direction on the other side. And by the way, I've modelled 40 metres uh, using a 70 degree takeoff, which is good for sort of uh, short hop stuff, 500 miles, 1,000 miles at the most sort of stuff. So that gives you an idea of how we can do. So it's not bad at all, fairly efficient, not far off the, the length of a, uh, 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 of a quarter wave, about four feet or about 1.2 meters short. So it shouldn't do too badly. Now on 20 meters, the antenna is just under a half wavelength long. So efficiency wise should be pretty good. And you can see we've still got that, um, that bias, if you like, in the direction of the, the slope. Uh, minus 5.6 about the minus 6.8 dBi in the uh, in the direction the other way. And I've modelled this at 5 degrees takeoff uh, because you know, we'll be looking for DX on the higher bands if they're open. Certainly 20 should be open anyway when we operate this quite late at night. So again, a slight bias in the direction uh, towards the slope there. But uh, those sort of figures are kind of in the ballpark of what we find with the ground mounted vertical, either a quarter wave or a half wave. It's, it's in that ballpark, so it's pretty good. 17 metres, again we've got a slight bias in that direction of the slope. It's a bit less uh, of a bias compared to 20 and 40, but the dB in it there is under. Uh, and again, pretty nice figures as well. Now on 17 metres, this antenna is just over uh, a half wavelength long. 
On 15, the antenna is kind of a three quarter, maybe a 0.7 wave. So it's a, it's a nice size. You can see there, look, uh, there's, there's better gain. And in fact, we're now seeing that there's a slightly better gain, well, hardly anything, it's only half a dB, nothing really, but in the direction away from the slope, which is interesting. So it's a nice antenna on 15. On 12, an even more uh, bias away from the slope, minus 1.4 now compared to minus 5.7. Again, though, you can see that there's still some good figures there. The antenna is something like, well, it's 8.8 .8 meters. It's going to be about a three quarter wave, maybe on 12 meters. So again, a pretty, uh, a pretty decent uh, sort of antenna. Now on 10, there's a little bit more of a compromise. You can see that the on the right hand side that those uh, uh, the lobes are slightly at the higher sort of takeoff uh, angles, but even so, uh, as we've done with the other ant uh, the other bands from 20, 17, 15, and 12 meters on 10, we've modelled it at a five degree takeoff angle. And you can see the direction away from the slope we're achieving minus two and a half, which is pretty good. But there's quite a, a reduction in gain in the direction of the slope, which is a bit of a contrast compared to 40 and 20 meters, especially. So there we are, a little look at it on, on the on the modelling. Of course, it's all down in the real world to propagation and everything else. Um, and we'll probably make quite a few contacts, I'm sure. Now, uh, without doubt, 20 metres should be open. 40 should be OK. Uh, maybe 17, perhaps 15. I'll be going out from about 7, 8 o'clock in the evening local. That's about 6, 18 to 1900 UTC until about midnight, 1am. So we'll see how it does. I anticipate it to be pretty good. I'd like to make sure I've got a good match on all the bands, first of all. And uh, hey, it's just another option. It's a compromise, of course it is. But uh, it could be a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Uh, there'll be a chance for you to click on another video shortly uh, on the screen there. And also, if you want to subscribe, it'd be nice to have you on board. We'll catch you soon. And uh, I'll be bringing the, uh, the video to you very soon of me using this antenna. All the best now. Till the next time. Bye-bye.